just in case. Surprise, surprise, it's another really dark, gloomy, rainy day in New York. And we are headed out. I, I don't know, we spent half the day sitting at home, but I think it's time to go outside. I got my new, another new sweater. <laughs> it's finally cooler out there. And we're gonna go to the Met Cloisters. Uh, the Cloisters is another branch of the Met Museum. If you don't know, it's really far up all the way at the tip of Manhattan takes an hour for us to get there so hopefully uh, everyone survives that really long trip and it's worth it and I hope it stops raining by then because it's basically like a medieval abbey and it has some medieval art inside it but also has this really cool garden if we get to the garden I'll show you but we need it to stop raining for that so I'm banking on the fact that it will take us an hour to get there at least and in that time hopefully it stops raining but if not at least I'll be warm the way branches down with heavy rocks to make sure that the tree grows horizontally and it has more fruit later. <laughs> and here's the fruit, my favorite queens. Happy Sunday! Today is so sunny, so different from yesterday, and it's also Korjik's birthday. Oh, here he is. It's my my boy is three years old today. We're heading out now to Central Park to just have a nice fall family walk, and later meeting my best friend Emma. Hopefully, taking some photos together. <laughs> My favorite people and my favorite doggy. Everyone. Wow, that was so special. I am really looking forward to seeing the photos, but even in my memory now, you know, having that day, spending time with my family in Central Park after all the years apart and taking photos and my friend Emma coming to spend time with us and meet my family. And of course, it's Korshuk's birthday. <sighs> I know. I am rambling at this point, but I'm just really grateful and excited for all the moments like that. And speaking of moments, uh, we will be celebrating Korjik's birthday soon. We've got a few presents for him and some surprises. Um, he's already excited looking at me, but um, I'll wait yeah, after dinner if I'm gonna do something for him too. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Korzik. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Yay! Hooray, Korzik! Good job! Okay, good feet. Good boy, is it tasty? Do you think it's tasty? I think it's tasty. Yay! Do you want a gift too? Can I give you a gift? Mm, you would want the no, gift, this is the tastiest thing I've ever had. You've never had a tastier thing? Mm. <laughs> oh, is it? What a good boy. Mm -hmm. 
get used to it because you're, you're going to get something else. stable there hi you'll never guess what we're doing next just kidding you absolutely saw this coming because we're going to the met museum the one right here in the neighborhood this time the main building and they're currently showing the Manet de Guy exhibit I've already watched their video on YouTube where the curator talks about putting it together and I thought I would share a few highlights before we both go and experience it so apparently Edouard Manet and Edgar Degas, they were born in France, only two years apart. I feel like I'm at school doing a report. That's a funny feeling. I was like, yeah, I should absolutely share that with you. And now that I'm talking about it, I, it feels funny, but let's just, yeah, let's, let's go with that. I feel like it's really loud. I feel like I'm yelling because this room is much noisier. There's a really busy street down there, so I hope you can hear me. Um, so what I've learned so far is that they were born only two years apart in France, Edouard Monet and Edgar Degas. They became artists and they worked obviously in France and ran in similar circles. They were at times friends and times rivals and like always in between somewhere. And because they painted a lot of the same scenes and often the same people, it's really interesting to see how they apply their own artistic styles to that. And I think it's very interesting how the show collected all their works and they're presenting them side by side so you can really see in what way they were similar and how they differed. And we're going to go and find it out now in person. Let's go. It's pretty cold outside, if it doesn't want to focus. So we're back to our favorite fall bake with full vegetables. I improvised a little bit and threw in some beans as well, but typically it's butternut squash, bacon, and Brussels sprouts with sage. And this we actually have grown in a house, so I went to the other room and got the leaves fresh from the plant, and now we're gonna bake this. I also added potatoes. We don't have sweet potatoes today. There is bacon and green beans because I had them. Oh, and of course, now that I can smell it getting hot, I totally forgot there's also garlic. Garlic, sage, and then full vegetables. Okay, I think we're gonna end here for now. I will include a slideshow of Kojic's baby videos from when we first got him. So I hope you enjoy that. And thank you again for spending the time with us. I will see you next time. Bye.